When the Izmit earthquake happens, there were two sorts of feelings that sort of arose, arose, arose in me. One was frustration. The other one was anger. Anger with myself, anger with others, because sort of we knew it was coming. And yet nothing had been done. Now, the same scientists who highlighted the threat facing Izmid have made another forecast. If they're right, the danger could be heading for another city. A city much bigger than Izmid. A city with over 14 million people. Istanbul. Because scientists believe that Turkey is in the middle of a new phenomenon, where one earthquake triggers another, and then another. Some are calling this an earthquake storm. The trail of clues that led to the discovery of the earthquake storm began here in Crete. Two thousand years ago, the Greek island was one of the key trading centers in the Mediterranean. But it was shattered when the island was apparently struck by the single biggest earthquake in recorded history. Evidence for that huge event is everywhere. This line here, separating the light rock from the dark rock, is the ancient shoreline, and it carries on along this coast at the same level. And years ago, the sea would have been up here, lapping against the rocks here. And then something dramatic happened. One day, the land suddenly rose up by about six metres here, and the sea just dropped. A drop of six meters is the mark of a truly great disaster. A sudden jump of a coastline by this size really is a telltale sign of a massive earthquake. Archaeological evidence showed just how devastating this one event apparently was. When an earthquake of this size, it just crushes towns in seconds. When the earthquake starts to strike, the first few things, the walls start to go, the roof starts to come down, and anyone that's underneath is just crushed. What we're looking at here is crushed skeletons lying underneath masonry and roof tiles. And, and in amongst this all, we've got columns falling down, we've got pottery, we've got everything else. This is everyday life just crushed by an earthquake. And amongst the remains lay a vital clue as to when the earthquake took place. This particular coin is dated to Constantius II, and that puts it roughly about 360 AD. Now this coin was found in the skeletons of the people crushed under the ruins. And what that means is the earthquake destruction is dated to shortly after 360 AD.